Et af de for danskerne mest populære hoteller i New York er Hotel Bacon, øh, som ligger et, nærmest et stenkast fra Central Park, som ligger mellem Hudsonfloden og så på den anden side af Central Park. Og det er et rigtig dejligt hotel, fordi det er ikke et sted, som er sådan overflodet, overfyldt med turisme, men det er et, turel, et hotel, hvor du stadigvæk har et lokalt præg, hvor du kan gå ned på hjørnet, hvor der er en café og så videre. Og øh, vores, øh, vi skal i dag snakke med Thomas Travers, som er direktør for Hotel Beacon, som har været det i 27 år, og som elsker at have danske kunder, øh, fordi han synes, at det er populært sagt nogle flinke fyre. Thomas Travers, you are the general manager for Hotel uh, Beacon. Uh, Beacon in New York. I have, and yes you, I am. And you have 278 rooms. Yeah. And you have a lot of clients from Denmark. We do. Why, why is this uh, hotel in New York? I mean, you, there must be thousands of hotels in New York. Why is it so popular among Danes? Uh, well, there's a lot of reasons. First of all, we're located in a real neighborhood instead of a tourist area. And we have been selling to the Danish market for, I've been there 27 years, probably 18. But it's really the word of mouth of the Danish people that recommended it because of the friendliness of the staff and that every room has a kitchenette. That's also a big seller. Um, we also have a large delegation during the marathon of Danes um, and Swedes and Norwegians that through them staying year after year, the word goes out into the marketplace. What is the average uh, price for the room in your hotel? About 250 to 275. Is that the normal uh, price in New York? Well, you know, it's seasonal, New York. So sometimes it can be higher, sometimes it can be lower. So sometimes in the year we're 205, sometimes we're 225. Other times we'll be over 300. It just depends on supply and demand. How is it, you know, um, number one destination for Danes, that's New York in the oh. United States. Oh, okay. And the other one is Florida and California, but New York is number one. Right. And, and you know, When we hear a hotel could be $250, $300, we will say that's expensive. Right. Is it expensive if you look at the price level in New York? No, because it varies. So depending on how many days you're going to stay, we discount the rate by a percentage. So the longer you stay, the cheaper it is. This concludes business yes. appointment number 42. Yeah. You, you, you have done a lot of things that to keep the hotel fresh and up to date. Yes. You, uh, when did you have a, your last renovation and when are you going to have a new one? Well, we renovated the whole hotel in the lobby approximately eight years ago. It took almost a year to renovate. Um, right now we're working with designs to renovate again or to refresh the hotel, um, which will occur probably in two years. So um, we're working on it now so that we can start it within two years but currently our housekeeping department is fantastic um, they have kept our rooms in great shape uh, how, how is it you are located just uh, uh, very close to Central Park Yes, we're located three blocks from the Central Park. So, for, especially for Danes who run in the morning, we have a free fitness room a center in our hotel. But a lot of them just run right to the park and do the loop around the park and then come back. Okay. How is it at the at the moment in New York? There are some rumors that you are a little bit behind, but you have the other the other years, and that the, it could be because Mr. Trump he has a bad influence on 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 the market in New York, or what? Is your comment? Well, <laughs> I still want to live here, so I don't want to comment on that. But um, we estimate through U.S. travel that international travel will be down around six to nine percent because of certain Trump policies. Six to nine percent? Yes, throughout the country. We're not. Uh, you have to remember New York is not like America. New York is very diverse and we're very welcoming of all people. So a lot of the policies that might affect America don't necessarily affect New York. But six, six to nine percent, I mean that's, a, that's about six million people that you will lose. Correct. That's, that's the latest thing I read. Now maybe they'll change the estimate. We don't know. Um, time will just tell.
but we want everybody to know that America as a country, and New York especially, welcomes the world. Yeah, but I mean, if you have this president, what can you do about it? Uh, not much. Uh, me, personally, can't do anything. <laughs> so, um, time will tell. There, because there's many threats. There are brand you say, there's this laptop brand, there's a travel band and so on and so on. Yeah. It seems that every morning you open the television, there's a new thing going on. Yes. H how can you cope with that? We try to ignore it because it just goes on and on and on. So it's a little bit different for everybody. But we're trying to make the best of it. And we're going to the world to say, please come and visit New York. How long have you been around? How long have you been general manager? I've been at the Hotel Beacon for 27 years. I've been around longer than that, <laughs> but it's been 27 years, yes. And still fighting? Still fighting, yes. How long? Um, 35 plus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good luck. We'll see you next year in Denver. Okay, Thank you. Nice to see you again. <laughs> Bye bye. Thank you. Thomas Travers fortalte, at øh, New York i øjeblikket er under pres, fordi man ikke har de samme øh, tal for overnatninger, som man har haft årene før. Og han siger, at det skyldes øh, Donald Trump og de ting, han har indført. Og han, jeg, jeg spørger ham om, hvordan det er, øh, fordi det er jo næsten hver morgen, der er en ny historie. Han siger, at det er, vi kan ikke gøre noget ved det. Det eneste, vi kan gøre, det er, at vi kan præge det er, at vi kan ignorere det og simpelthen prøve at komme videre. Han arbejder så godt han kan for sit hotel, fortæller han, og siger, at når danskerne er glade for hotellet, er det fordi, at der er et køkken på alle værelserne. Og han fortæller, at personalet er meget venlige og hjælpsomme, og det er selvfølgelig altid en god ting på et hotel. Så siger han, at man har været i gang med renovering af hotellet, men øh, i løbet af to år skal man i gang igen, fordi man hele tiden vil holde hotellet frist og klart. Han siger, at gennemsnitsprisen for et hotel, øh, for Hotel Beacon, det er omkring 200, 250, 300 dollar afhængig af sæsonen. Og han siger, at for New York er det ikke, er det ikke en, en speciel høj pris for hoteller, fordi sådan er hotelniveauet simpelthen. Og det er rigtigt, man kan, ikke, man, kan ikke få, man kan godt få nogle hoteller nogle gange, der er nogle tilbud på 100 eller 100 dollar. Men man skal være heldig, hvis man finder et ordentligt hotel i New York, som er under 200 dollar.